Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. I didn't manage to make a recording last week, but I'm here now, so here we go. Uh, before I start, a couple of things to let you know. Firstly, I'm now doing two episodes or two versions of this recording. One where, like normal, like I've always done, uh, and another version with background music. And it will be the same, probably, probably be the same background music each time. So which will be useful to get you, you know, kind of accustomed and almost like a trigger for you to feel comfortable and calm and relaxed. So that's the plan to do two different versions and it'll be the same recording one with music, one without music. And the background music is quite low. And uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to Laura, who posted a review on my website, and uh, telling me that she liked the recording I did last time. It was number 36 uh, with music, so I'm going to continue to do both versions um, it's not everyone's going to want to listen with music and some people will uh, so I hope that you benefit whichever one you listen to so going further there's no adverts on this or any of my podcasts and on my website you can actually there's a special page with a player, uh, uh, with a uh, like a podcast player, which is on a page. It's just basically sleep hypnosis weekly player, and then uh, continuous play or playlist continuous play, and you click on that, and you can listen to every recording back to back without interruptions. Yeah, anything like that so that's, that's definitely a, an option as well I suppose one of the benefits <sighs> of listening with the music is you don't have the background sounds of the birds because the music will kind of Almost blank those sounds out. But if you're like me and you quite enjoy the sounds of birds singing, and they're not like really loud, they're just there. It's five o'clock in the morning when I record this, so it's kind of the quietest time, but at the same time, it's now becoming spring so the birds are up a bit earlier but it's still dark outside it's still night time really and I'm sitting up in my bed it's very relaxing feeling quite calm actually I can't lay down because I will just fall asleep although as I continue talking uh, I very likely will drift a little bit because I don't know about you but when I make these recordings the sleep recordings like this like I've been
been doing for what, 14 years it seems to tap into something it, it puts me in a a certain state of mind a certain rhythm I'm not quite sure how to explain it but it's like it's almost like I got I'm on a train and the track is changed so I go onto a different piece of track and I just follow that journey which leads me into feeling more and more relaxed and just everything slows down my body feels calmer the different parts of my body just feel more relaxed without even focusing necessarily on any particular part there still is that overall sense of increased comfort spreading throughout my body and right now can really notice my eyes, my eyelids. I've got my eyes closed. It's a kind of a strange sensation, really, because there's this big body of mine, there's legs, arms, torso, head. You know, back, stomach, chest, hips, all that stuff. You're the only part that's really grabbing, that's grabbing my attention is my eyelids. I'm now noticing my stomach. It's almost as if my stomach has decided to just relax slowly without, without needing me to ask my stomach to relax. It just seems to be doing it on its own almost it feels like you know like a piece of rope that's in a knot but it's now been untied except instead of me doing the untying of the knots it's doing it itself automatically I don't know why, but it brings to mind the feeling of having shoes on or training sneakers, whatever they may be, but the laces are just a bit too tight. And I've done that, you know, when I was younger. And the feeling you get when you actually undo the laces and stretch them out so that your feet are no longer constricted the way they were you don't necessarily even have to take your shoes off to experience that relief and comfort instantly in your feet It's almost immediate. Or if you've got maybe 
something tight on your top, a tight t-shirt or maybe a tight bra or something like that and you take it off and you just feel that looseness, that relief. For me, maybe if I take a tight t-shirt off and I just, you know, this feels so freeing and maybe I put a a loose t-shirt on a shirt or something that's really loose it feels nice around my chest and my stomach so a sense of freedom and for those ladies that wear bras I imagine I've been told that this a degree of re- restriction so that feeling of freedom and that feeling of comfort I mean hopefully you feel comfortable with the clothes you're wearing but when you take whatever it is you're wearing off you feel free and maybe when you put that loose t-shirt on that loose top This is for the men and the women. You know, with trousers, similar thing. I've worked in offices and, you know, I've got a... A lot of people might think that I've got a beer belly, but it's actually real muscle. Just really well hidden. And, oh yeah, I'll get home from my office job in the past and... There's almost a, an ecstasy, you know, a pleasure of just undoing the trousers. And I could see the mark across my stomach, below my belly, where the, you know, the trousers have been digging into me. And I just let them drop to the floor. And I just get the elastic, you know, underpants or boxer shorts, the elastic, and just pull them out a little bit. Just a a little bit of air into my belly area, below my belly button. It feels so nice. So relaxing. And it, it can feel a bit strange, the idea of it really, that such a small thing can actually give so much pleasure as well as a real sense of natural comfort that doing something like that can feel you make you feel relaxed you haven't had to do anything to gain that relaxation other than just take off that top or take off the shoes or even thinking about doing it can have exactly the same physical and emotional reaction of calmness looseness and it just really really feels good to let go to really really enjoy that sense of deep calmness that naturally arises another thing that I've noticed uh, at the end of the day when I'm sitting on the side of my bed at the end of my days the beginning of other people's days maybe not everybody's but I normally go to bed about 7 in the morning that's just my I like to make recordings at night when it's quiet and I sit on the edge of my bed and I'll take my socks off one at a time 
doing two at a time is a task so one at a time is enough and this pleasure is actual physical pleasure so just taking the sock off and feeling the air on my feet start to relax instantly and the toes feel loose my ankles feel loose there's a real sense of it might it might seem I don't know it might sound a bit weird but it's, it feels a bit like I'm part of nature admittedly I'm not running through a forest with my bare feet like maybe my ancestors would have done you know hundreds of years ago maybe but even though I'm laying on my bed without my socks on there's a real sense of connectedness with the world you're no longer playing a role you know no longer being the person that perhaps you feel you need to be at work or no longer needing to be the type of friend that maybe you think you should be or the type of family member or type of partner can just be completely at peace in your bed and the bed is such a special place such a special place to relax and we've got that natural connection between your bed and sleeping naturally because we were born to sleep easily and naturally it's one of the very few things that we were born with the ability to do straight away Sleeping is one of those things that we didn't have to learn. It's, it's instinctive, automatic. And it can feel so easy as you relax even more without trying to relax. sometimes feels like your body just needs a bit of space a bit of time so that each part of your body can relax in its own way without any pressure Your body can just let go. Because when you're lying down on your bed, relaxation is the natural way for your body to be. Calm and loose. Calm and loose. And that calmness from your body affects 
the way you feel inside emotionally. And as your emotions continue to calm even further, any kind of chatter that you might have had in your brain or in your mind becomes less and less relevant. As things slow down, naturally, as your body and your mind and your emotions synchronize in harmony because they're all connected your body and your mind and your emotions all relax together and as your body your mind and your emotions synchronize in that harmonious way it allows you to take flight through that tunnel that links you between being awake and being asleep. That journey of comfort and letting go. And all those parts work together to help each other to relax even more deeply, relax with even more comfort. As you notice the parts of your body seem to be just falling asleep. And you can tell that they're falling asleep because they're not needing your attention. They're not asking for your attention. It's not that they're numb or that they're not there, because you know your body's there. But it almost feels like it's not there anymore. As if your body is just sinking into your bed. Comfortable. So comfortable. And your emotions also sink into the bed of your body. So relaxed. So very relaxed. So loose. And your mind is... Feels 
was almost empty. Because there's nothing to think about. There's nothing to say. your mind can also join your body and your emotions relaxing deeply and sinking to your bed, sinking even deeper to a level of calmness that's actually pleasurable. It's like you've reached a different level, a place where you can be at one with yourself, a place of safety, no judgment, just comfort. Calmness, deep relaxation. Ready to drift. Into that sense of Safe Sleep Really comfortable 
safely letting go Please.